So we are going to create a database here that will have two tables. One is about uh, furniture designers and the other that is about the items of furniture that they can design. Now one item, uh, sorry, one designer can, can design many items but an item can only be designed by one designer. And if we look at the designer table, we'll see that we are going to store a designer ID, which will be the primary key, uh, the designer name, the email, and the phone number. There'll be a presence check and a length check on the designer ID field, a presence check on the name field, and a length check of 11 on the phone number field. And if we look at the um, item field, uh, sorry, the item table, you'll see that we've got um, various fields there, item number, item name, description. Uh, item number will have um, a length check, of three and a presence check as it's the primary key. Item number will only simply have a presence check. There'll be no validation on the description field. Price will have a range check of being greater than zero. Type will have a restricted choice, which will be either table, chair, or desk. And the quantity, which will be numbered stock, will be greater than or equal to zero. And for the designer ID, we'll do a presence check and we'll also do a lookup from the designer table to ensure that it is um, in the other table. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a blank database. So we've opened up Access and I'm just going to click on a blank database and I'm going to call it Furniture. Now if you want to save it in a particular place, just choose the folder that you're going to do it. And I'm just going to press Create there. And because I've made this one before. So the first thing we're going to do is it makes a table called Table 1. So if I go to File and Save, Rather than call it table one, I'm going to call our first table designer. And then I'm going to right click and go into design view. Now design view is where I can change all of the field types and names. And the first thing I'm going to do is just right click and to delete the field that's already put in there. It'll say it requires it to be a primary key. That's fine. Just delete the field. So the first thing we've done is to um, made a table and we've saved it. Now we're going to start putting in the field types. 